can everyone please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by international recording artist, Mai Lee, accompanied by producer, multi-platinum producer, Brad Young. Mai Lee. How's everyone doing? <laughs> so I'm, um, Brad is on his way, but I, I got this, okay? okay? And I just wanted to thank everybody for coming. You all look great. It's really hot outside. <laughs> and we're here. All right. Okay. Can you guys hear me clearly? Really? I can't hear myself, so okay. Oh, say can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Thank you. If you all could still remain standing, now for the processional, the moment we have all been waiting for. You may be seated. Now we will have the welcome by Carrie Cunningham, Virtual School Coordinator, St. Louis Public Schools, and Hillary Stuckey, Program Coordinator for the Workforce High School. Good afternoon. It is with great pleasure that we welcome you to this joyous occasion. Today, we celebrate the first milestone of many in the lives of both Cedric Deshay and Javion Gill. Today, we completely and wholeheartedly celebrate them. We celebrate their hard work, their dedication, and ability to keep pressing forward, no matter what. But most important, we celebrate the successful completion of their high school journey. I'm Hillary Stuckey, Program Coordinator for the Workforce High School. I am Kerry Cunningham. I am the Virtual School Coordinator for the St. Louis Public Schools. Uh, 
about six months ago when Dr. Prince uh, approached us and asking, can we join a collab join in collaboration with the workforce uh, high school, we thought it would be a great plan so that we can begin to extend opportunities to students who are age 17 to 21 uh, to, to go beyond a brick and mortar building to, to be educated. So we thought this program was truly a successful program and the collaboration that we currently share with St. Louis Public Schools and Slate. Cedric and Javion have made history at the, as the first two students to successfully complete the Workforce High School. There will never be another first. So therefore, we encourage you to bask in the moment and truly cherish your accomplishments. We ask that you hold your heads high, continue on your path of greatness, and challenge yourselves not to make this your final graduation. Again, we'd like to welcome you and thank you for coming to um, be part of this first graduation of the St. Louis Public Schools Slate Workforce Program. Thank you. We will now have the recitation of the class poem by both myself and Dr. Alex Prince, manager of the Young Work Young workforce division at the Slate American Job Center. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ooh, let, me, let me breathe just a little bit. I was born in the Congo. I walked to the Fertile Crescents and built the Sphinx. I designed a pyramid so tough that a star that glows every 100 years falls into the center giving divine, perfect light. I'm bad. I sat on the throne, drinking nectar with Allah. I got hot and sent an ice age to Europe to cool my thirst. My oldest daughter is Nefertiti. The tears from my birth pains created the Nile. I am a beautiful woman. I gazed on the forest and burned down the Sahara Desert with a packet of goat's meat and a change of clothes. I crossed it in two hours. I am a gazelle so swift, so swift you can't catch me. For a birthday present when he was three, I gave my son Hannibal an elephant. He gave me Rome for Mother's Day. My strength flows ever on. My son Noah built a new ark. I stood proudly at the ham. As we sailed on a soft summer's day, I turned myself into myself and was Jesus. Me and intone my loving name. All praises, all praises, for I am the one who would say. I show diamonds in my backyard. My bowels deliver uranium. The filings from my fingernails are semi-precious jewels. On a trip north, I caught a cold and blew, my nose giving oil to the Arab world. I am so hip, even my errors are correct. <laughs> I sailed west to reach east and had to round off the earth as I went. The hair thinned from my head and gold was laid across three continents. I am so perfect. So divine. So ethereal. So surreal. I cannot be comprehended except by my permission. I mean, Cedric. Cedric. Javion. Javion. You can fly like, like a bird, bird in, in the, the sky. sky. Y'all give it up for our graduates. <laughs> Thank you, <Ed. laughs> Now we will have the introduction of the keynote speaker by the executive director of the Slate American Job Center, Mr. Michael K. Holmes. Thank you uh, and to the graduates. Job well done, very proud of you. And again, yes, you are the first, but there are many, many to come after you. Uh, to St. Louis Public Schools, thank you for the partnership uh, you've always been committed 
this was something different that we wanted to try and Alice came and said, we're gonna have a 24 hour high school, Mr. Holmes, what do you think about it? I said, pardon me? <laughs> 24 hours, I said, well, what do you mean 24 hours? And she said, well, this is how we're gonna plan it. I was like, okay, let's try it and see. And she said, we're gonna take it slow. Because if you know Dr. Prince, she likes to do big things. I said, well, how many people? How many people? Well, we're gonna take it slow. Well, what does slow mean, Alice? So uh, I think it's 30 people, uh, students in the class right now. So we're saying, I said, 30 is okay. What's the max? Well, that's gonna be it until we find a new place, Mr. Holmes. I said, okay, I can deal with that. So uh, to the two graduates, thank you, uh, because it's all about you. It's your commitment. It was uh, us really responding to your needs. So again, thank you for what you've done. You have uh, delivered a milestone for even workforce. This is the first workforce high school. I know there's only two in the country. There's only two in the country, and I believe uh, one is in LA, at the Workforce Center in LA. And we went there, we saw it, and we came back, we talked about it, and that was a year and a half ago. Alice picked it up and went on. So. You're, it's only two in the country, and you've made uh, the second one probably the best one, uh, Alice in the country. So it is an honor um, to introduce our guest speaker, uh, and I know all of you know, uh, for me, kind of bittersweet, uh, kind of bittersweet. Our speaker, uh, I've known for a while. He's been mayor for 16 years. <laughs> been mayor for 16 years. And um, when I met him and he called and we talked and never, you know, we just, I value what he, do, he, he has b done for this community. And uh, you can be honest with him. You can be honest. And people say, you're gonna go work for the mayor? I'm like, yeah. But I tell people he has been a great supporter of workforce and of Slate. We've done more under this administration than this organization has done in the last 60 years. We've done more. He's always been available to, for me to talk to. Uh, we've gone on trips together and we've been able to uh, talk about things that are happening. Uh, this is a tough job. This is a tough uh, uh, commitment when you're wanting to employ. And I believe since I've been there and uh, 16 years, but I've been here eight, nine, 200,000, over 200,000 people we've put to work. Over 200,000 in eight years. And it's probably more than that because it was years before me. And I, you know, of course you look at data, you can only control the data you have. So I'm honored to, and like I said, bittersweet, this may be my last time introducing him as the mayor, but I will always respect him as being the mayor, of course. And uh, I hope he, his family, well. And remember Slate, you know, when, wherever you go and there's some foundation dollars and all of that, you know, remember us, mayor. You re remember us, Rem you know, if you want some charity work. Remember us, we, we can help out. But I would like to take this opportunity to introduce the mayor of the city of St. Louis, the longest serving mayor, the former chair of the Workforce Development Board, which I'm a trustee on, with the United States Conference of Mayors. I would like to introduce, as your guest speaker, the mayor of the city of St. Louis, Francis G. Slim. Well, Michael, like always, you, you handle everything beautifully, and uh, thank you for that very kind and generous uh, introduction, uh, and thank you for your leadership uh, on behalf of Slate, uh, the work you did there nine years ago when I stole him from the community college district. I recognize his talent. He expressed an interest, and it's been good uh, for the city of St. Louis and the people of St. Louis. He's done a great job, and uh, I'm certainly, uh, uh, and I know that, uh, that St. Louis has been good to Michael as well. 
Uh, he's got a great team, Dr. Ellis Prince being one of those who I'm going to talk about a little bit today. Uh, but uh, welcome to City Hall and to uh, Cedric and Javon, congratulations to both of you, uh, gentlemen, uh, on your wonderful accomplishment, and I know many more to come. But, you know, I've given, um, I've given graduation speeches in the past in various contexts, but this is different. Uh, this is the first one that I've given here at City Hall, and it's the first one uh, that has taken place with this new program that was the brainchild of Dr. Prince. Uh, and, and this is special, not only because we're here, but because I know that you two gentlemen had a very special, very difficult uh, uh, task uh, and some very big challenges that you had to overcome to get to where you are today. And so that, that makes this even more special. And I know that's something that you should be very, very proud of. You know, you may have taken a few wrong turns. You may have d uh, doubted yourself in the past. Uh, uh, you may have thought that a life away from school might be something that would work for you long term. Get that behind you and do something uh, else. But I, you found your way back. Uh, and, uh, and I know that it will lead to a brighter future. I've learned that you have put hours and hours of hard work in and that you've dedicated yourself to making today graduation day a reality and here we are and it is a reality congratulations you know coming back to a difficult task uh, makes um, make it's very difficult of course and, and it really makes uh, it takes it takes fortitude uh, it takes mental preparedness to sit for as much as 12 hours a day uh, to complete your schooling but I can tell you one thing for certainly certainty you will find that this was a good thing that you did and that it was well worth your efforts. Today you will walk out of this room as high school graduates. <laughs> you will have uh, a new world in front of you and better opportunities. Uh, you will have opportunities that did not exist before. And it is a milestone, uh, but um, it's up to you. You've taken advantage of an opportunity that was presented to you in the past to bring you to where you are today. And I'm here to encourage you to continue to take advantage of opportunities that come your way. You know, sometimes things don't work out, but just don't stop, just don't stop trying. And so people are presented with opportunities. Some people take them for granted. But many times opportunities take work to take advantage of. Uh, things aren't easy all the time. Uh, you got you to invest in something to get, to get payback and investing your time, energy, and commitment uh, so you can get a good reward as you go forward. You should be very, very proud of yourselves. I can tell you that I'm very, very proud of you as, as your mayor. And I should also tell you how important both of you are to our city. Uh, the people in this room care deeply about you and about your futures, and they want you to succeed. Um, maybe that's something you didn't fully realize before, but let's look in the room today. People are here for a reason. It's a big deal. It's a big deal to the city of St. Louis, and as, it's, as, as a big a deal to anyone, it should be a very big deal to, to yourselves. It is clear from your renewed dedication to your schooling that you are smart, you know how to work hard, you know how to exercise self-discipline, take care of yourself, respect yourself, believe in yourself. Those are really important. Uh, attributes uh, as you go through life. Attributes that you can't let go. You have to, you have to hold on to those attributes and, and take advantage of them and build on those. Uh, use your brain as often as possible. Knowledge is cool and it is something that c opens doors for you in, in the future. Knowledge means autonomy, the opportunity to have choices and to be able to make those choices. Problem solving, reasoning, curiosity. These are the superpowers of the 21st century. And now you have them. You know you have them. But those, those superpowers are yet to be fully realized. And I can tell you that. They're yet to be fully realized. Complete college or tech school and keep learning. Take the discipline you learned here and use it to, success, to excel to the next level. They are the foundation on which your life and your career will be built. Demand the most from your next school, your next teachers. Demand, most importantly, the most from yourselves. Build on that. Get involved. You know, you didn't get here by yourself. You had family members and friends 
uh, caregivers, uh, community members, mentors, uh, even kind strangers, people you might have met for the first time that gave you a hand up or gave you some advice or opened the door for you. Never forget about what they did for you and think about how you can give back to the community right. and, and not only taking care of yourself, which is number one, and, but also think about how you can give back and maybe give a hand up and help others because you will be in a better position now to do that than, you, than in the past. Take a leadership role where you go next, whether that's staying in your neighborhood or moving away and going to college. The opportunities are many. You have a very important role in our community and in our future. Stay informed of the issues affecting your school, your neighborhood, your city, your state, and your country. You have something to offer to our community. And the community needs you, needs your, your talent, needs your knowledge, your experiences, so that we can be better, a better place. Participate in the democratic process. Register and vote. Get involved in your community. As I said, you have a lot to offer. Volunteer to help other people or make your neighborhood better. You will find that that is a very, very rewarding experience. What I like most about my job, you know, isn't uh, the fanfare, isn't the, 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 um, the fact that, uh, you know, just being the mayor, but what I like most about what I do is I get to work with so many different people, inside government, outside government, who care deeply about our community, deeply about others and are working hard with resources and ideas and energy to make it better for everyone. It's hard work, but the more people that we have working together for the betterment of the whole, the better off we're all gonna be as a community. So I encourage you to um, get involved, set a good example for others um, for, and for those who look up to you, because there are those that look up to you. You are already an example to other students enrolled in the workforce high school encourage them as well. Make every moment count, pay back and pay forward. So that's my brief advice to you both. But of course, I'm sure you can give me some advice too. <laughs> and, and that's the other thing, you know, always keep an open mind uh, and understand that everybody's important and everybody has a perspective and everybody has something to offer and some, and so uh, shutting people out is not a good thing. So always keep an open mind. Uh, I could not be a good mayor if I did not have a good team, a lot of good advisors, and a lot of strong support from the community, and people who tell me, you know, mayor probably shouldn't have done it this way, or he should have done it that way. I learn a lot from mistakes as well, and you will as well. So this celebration would not be possible without the dedication, uh, incredible dedication and commitment of St. Louis Public School District. I want to thank uh, Dr. Or Mr. Uh, Carrie Cunningham and the, and the St. Louis Public School District as well for all their <laughs> continued support. And of course, the St. Louis Agency on Training and Employment. We heard from Michael uh, Holmes, who's the director, but in particular, I want to thank, uh, I want to thank doc, doctor, Dr. Alice Prince. This was her brainchild. She, uh, you know, your motto uh, for meeting people where they are with what they need is a big reason why these two young men are here receiving their diplomas today. Thank you for your great work and not just on this program. You do so many wonderful things for so many people in our community. I can't tell you how proud I am as a St. Louisan to know we have someone of your caliber and commitment in city government helping so many people. Thank you so much, doctor. And uh, what we've been waiting for, finally, is congratulations, gentlemen. Congratulations, Cedric. Congratulations as well, Javon, for your great accomplishments. I wish you all the very best in the future. You worked hard. You earned it. And now you, it's your turn and your time to celebrate. Thank you. Thank you again, Mayor Slay. For the moment now that we all have been waiting for, the presentation of diplomas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Cunningham, followed by Hillary Stuckey. Dr. Ian Robert, Roberts, Mayor Slay, Dr. Prince, 
please come forward at this time. And I will turn it over now to you, Mr. Cunningham, for the presentation of the poem. Uh, as we said earlier, this is truly the moment you have been waiting for for 12 years. I would like to say I've had history with both of these young men, and I've seen them overcome the challenges that many youth face in our community. They have been, they persevere to the end by meeting all of the requirements of the St. Louis Public Schools by gaining 24 credits to graduate. Uh, <laughs> passing all of their EOC tests, which is the end of the course exams, and taking their ACT tests, and also AccuPlacer and Compass test. So let's give these young men a round of applause. I also want to take a moment too to uh, recognize one of the people who made this happen, their instructor, Sylvester McLean. Can you please come forward as well? Yeah. Yes. Since this is a non traditional graduation, we're going to do something different. We're going to have their instructor, who's been working with them, present them their yeah. diploma. Okay. Yeah. First one is Cedric Deshay. And Javion Gill. Dr. Ian Roberts, can you please join us for the turning of the tassels? And the turning of the tassel signifies the transfer or removal from being a candidate to being a graduate. to you, the class of 2017 of the Workforce High School. All right. All right, you may be seated. <laughs> yes. 
Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> now we will have another vocal performance by international recording artist, My Lee, accompanied by multi-platinum producer, Brad Young. Let's give these two students another round of applause. Congratulations. I want to thank um, Dr. Alice Prince for this opportunity. Um, you guys look great again. So does she. You guys ready? <clears throat> if you guys know this song, you can sing it too, you know. Speak to my heart, Holy Spirit, give me the words that will bring new life, words on the wings of the morning, the dark nights will fade away, speak to my heart, speak to my heart. I can't hear from you, then I know what to do. I won't go alone. I'll never go on my own. Just let your spirit guide me and let your word abide. Speak to my heart. Speak to my Thank you. Thank you, Brad. Thank you so much, my Lee and Brad. On that note, for the benediction, if everyone can please close their eyes and bow their heads. Heavenly and most gracious Father, we just want to come to you today and thank you for being who you are. Thank you for overflowing who you are into Javion and Cedric. Thank you for this moment, for they have overcome obstacle after obstacle, Lord Jesus, but you have brought them to this moment. Thank you for their families. Thank you for their friends. And Lord, most importantly, thank you for you being who you are. We come to you and pray to you that this is not only their first graduation, but we pray that this is not their last graduation for they will continue to go on and do great things. These and many blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now we will have Hillary Stuckey, Workforce Program Coordinator, to come forward with a special presentation, acknowledgments, and closing remarks. Ms. Stuckey. As we conclude our program, I would like to take a moment and make a special presentation. Today is bittersweet for us. We are celebrating the great accomplishments of Javion and Cedric. However, we're celebrating the final few days in office of one of the most re well-respected and diligent mayors in the history of the city of St. Louis. Mayor Slay, can you please join me at the podium? So we wanted to get um, Mayor Slay a very special gift. We did not, just know it's not a plaque. 
<laughs> it's not a keychain. <laughs> we thought about what can we you it's, it's you can open it. It's <laughs> we thought about what could we give a man who has worked endlessly 24 hours a day for 16 years. Okay, he's been on call for this city 24 hours a day. We thought he needed a lot of rest. So <laughs> he's gonna take a lot of vacation. And see, this is a high tech mask. You can, it's a built-in Wi-Fi, so he can sync it to his computer, to his uh, smartphone, and listen to music. Isn't that, isn't that the best gift ever? People thought I was crazy. And I was like, no. I was like, I know what the man need. He need rest. <laughs> But, but Mayor, I have to say, and you know, I don't have any, they didn't write nothing for me to say, so I just, I can only speak from my heart. Okay, yeah. And I'm gonna try not to do the ugly cry. So I'm gonna try to keep everything intact. But um, I appreciate you. I appreciate, for, I appreciate you for who you are. You have such an authentic heart. Um, you've always supported everything out of my department, every single thing, you've always supported it. You've let people know that you weren't just a group of uh, one person's mayor, you was everybody's mayor. Even people who made mistakes, right? Even people in my Prison to Prosperity program, even people who dropped out of high school two and three and four times, but they still needed a hand up. You always supported that you were very real, very authentic. You, you know, how you walk it, how you talk it is really how you walk it. And I appreciate that so much in you. And you are brilliant. You're very smart. You, you see the bigger picture. But most importantly, you support us. And you support our city with all that you have. And, and I appreciate that. So I just want to say thank you for, a pre, for, for all that you've done. And my team, can you guys stand up? You guys all stand up. We all love you. We all love you. We have another gift from our Prison to Prosperity program. Olivia being the team lead of Prison to Prosperity, the mayor when we started our Prison to Prosperity program, um, and that's when we began working with young people behind the bars, the mayor came and talked to them, and he said, you know what? Y'all made some mistakes, but this is still your St. Louis. I'm still your mayor. When you get out of jail, we're going to still give you a, a job. We're going to give you education. You're going to still do, you know, I'm still, you're still a part of us. And so uh, one of our students actually did the design on the back, and he wanted to make sure we hand delivered that to you. So that is your that is your gift. So thank you so much for just supporting us. We appreciate it. It was just authentic support. It's nothing like somebody just being authentic, and that's just who you are. You know, people can take it or leave it. You are who you are, <laughs> and I appreciate that. You know, so thank you so much. <laughs> On behalf of the Slate American Job Center and all of us in this room, we just wanted to take a moment and present you with a special recognition to thank you for your outstanding commitment, service, and support you have shown to the Young Adult Work Division throughout the um, tenure as the mayor. Our young people are able to thrive and achieve because individuals like you have believed in them and supported them, so thank you again. We would also like to thank Mr. Holmes, Executive Director of the Slate American Job Center, <laughs> Kelly Bernardi, Deputy Director of the Slate American Job Center, <laughs> Dr. Alice Prince, your passion, your dedication never ceases to amaze us. We thank you for that fearless leadership and your vision and most important, your mission to reach our young people in successful endeavors. And to the entire Young Workforce Division, can you guys please stand again? And we wanna thank you again for all that you do. <laughs> to the St. Louis Public Schools, None of this will be possible without your continued partnership, so thank you so much. The superintendent, Dr. Kelvin Adams, thank you for his leadership. Dr. Ian Roberts, Stacy Clay, and Carrie Cunningham, thank you so much. 
We would like to thank 78th District State Representative Bruce Franks in his absence. Thank you. The City of St. Louis Department of Corrections. Miley and Brad Young, thank you again. Thank you. Gabby Davis of Sugar Coated STL, STL TV, and to our graduates, Cedric and Javion. <laughs> we would like to thank their friends and family also for the support throughout this journey. We thank you, and that concludes our program. Thank you. The refresh. Wait one second. The refreshments are in the back. You guys can take pictures, and then we'll wrap up. Yeah, right there.